What we got here is a plain unmodified DualShock 2. And the game we're playing here is Eternal Ring on the PlayStation 2. The controls are what's come to be known as tank controls. Or forward and backward, move the character forward and backward, left and right, turn left and right, L1 and R1, strafe, and L2 and R2 pitch up and down. The analog sticks do absolutely nothing in either analog or digital mode. So it's all, it's all about the, the D-pad and the shoulder buttons. And it's not terrible. It can, it can be made to work, kind of. Until you have to actually do any pitching up or down, which actually is required. Uh, so it's just, uh, it's got problems, right? This is the DualShock 1, modified to bring the control signals out to the Arduino. The digital controls here in Eternal Ring are still the same, where you move forward, backward, turn left, right. <laughs> Strafe left and right, and pitch up and down. What's different now is that the analog sticks can do useful things. Set it up the way I like it, where the left stick controls forward, backward, left and right strafing, and the right stick controls turn left or right and pitch up and down. And it makes the game that much more fun. It makes it actually playable now. As playable as it could be anyway. 